guys, I'm you here. Today I thought I'm going to uh, do a video about my breakfast. I got a suggestion, somebody suggested in the comments. Please show what you do for breakfast. So that's what I'm going to show. Well, I like to have uh, oatmeal for breakfast, but having oatmeal for breakfast every day kind of drives me crazy after a while. Like it's very good. Um, for uh, like your insides and it keeps you full for like half a day so it's very good food however it gets kind of old after a while so today I'm going to do oatmeal with a twist right so every now and then I kind of mix it up a little bit and if I really get sick of oatmeal I just don't eat it for a week but then I start always craving it again and then I go back to eating it for months at the time right but I usually try to like uh, slightly vary my oatmeal how I make it just to kind of keep it fresh so the twist in today's oatmeal is that I'm going to add a zucchini in it so this is a half zucchini I have already eaten other half a couple days ago so I just shred the half a zucchini and I just add it to the oatmeal uh, I think it's about a cup to cup ratio or I think I'm more I'm actually more like adding half a cup of oats one cup of shredded uh, zucchini <laughs> but you can just vary however you want it so the zucchini is um, has this nice uh, property it's a good and bad thing is that it doesn't really have any taste and I'm not really a fan of zucchini however like the good part is that it will take the taste of whatever uh, taste is actual food so it's basically going to taste like oatmeal which is really weird or whatever you may uh, might make and just add zucchini in it and it's just kind of adds volume like it lowers the calories of the whole meal and everything like I'm not going to add it to lower the calories of the oatmeal because I don't really need to do it, uh, but uh, to me, it just kind of changes its texture a little bit, and it also adds just vitamins and minerals, and so it just kind of changes my old boring oatmeal <laughs> that I have to eat every day. Right, so let's shred the thing. Here we go. So you don't need to add a lot of milk, just a dash of almond milk, regular blue diamond almonds, almond breeze. I'm gonna add some oats just by the eyeball it. I have old fashioned organic oats. I like old fashioned I think the best. They're quick enough, but at the same time they have the fiber in it. And another thing I'm going to add is farina. So this is fortified creamy hot wheat cereal. It says apparently it cooks in two and a half minutes. And it says it's an excellent source for iron and folate. Let me see. So this has a lot of vitamin B6, niacin, People flavin, thiamine, iron, calcium, folate, phosphor oh, like phosphorus is a little bit little. Let me see. I think they have added the vitamins to this mixture. Like it doesn't actually ha have it on its own. The cream of wheat cereal. They just added like four divided. Oops, it's a little bit too much. So it just makes it a little bit. like a spoonful but now it's like arbitrary, <laughs> arbitrary amount and then 
I'm also going to add a little bit of salt, like a pinch of salt. I'm going to wait and if it's, I think it's a little bit too dry. I know I'm going to get more wetness off from the zucchini as it cooks, but I think I still need to add a little bit more milk, dash of milk. Right. And then we just wait and cook. So while this uh, waits and cooks, I'm going to make a little bit extra. So I like to add a little bit of fruit and things on the side of my uh, plate. Just to kind of get my fruit intake and just make my whole meal nicer. I have this uh, nice mango. What is that? I'm from Mexico. Let me go uh, peel it. So this mango is super, super sweet. So I like to add fruits to my oatmeal because they just in general add the, this sweetness, this natural sweetness to things and I don't have to add any kind of sugar to my oatmeal. Another thing is that the fruits will add nice color to everything. I'm gonna cook everything uh, very properly. Sometimes I just do my oatmeal in a microwave. I don't always cook it in a pot. But because of the zucchini, I have to cook it in a pot this time. Like a little bit extra work. But today I just felt like I want to change and I have enough energy to do it, so why not? So I turned the heat off and I'm just going to let it sit a little bit and cool down. So this is oh, so yummy. I'm not going to eat all of it because this is quite a big meal now. But I like to make a little bit extra because uh, I like to give the second half to my piggy. My piggy really likes this kind of food. Right, so it's cooked. It has chilled a little bit. I'm going to just... So this is leftover for my biggie. I'll we'll just leave it here to chill some more. So this is too much for me. Okay. Okay. So let's go outside. Today is a really nice warm day, so I'm just going to go sit outside. Nice green, warm, nice day. So, a few things uh, about my health. I have gone through two chemotherapies. Oh, somebody's sawing something they're always the neighbors is like they're always sawing down the trees around here it's like every single day I'm so sick of it right so I have done two chemos and I guess I just have to talk louder than the sawing sorry about it after the first chemo that was a week ago I had nausea I had a lot of uh, discomfort uh, and the following days to the chemo, I lost 
to next two days after the chemo I had enormous amount of pain but then the pain went down so I think sometimes uh, when you start taking new chemo medication or cancer medication in general like the pain at first can go up because apparently the uh, like the cancer kind of expands a little bit and I think it's especially true because uh, I kind of had the pain exactly where all my bone cancer is because I know where the cancer is and that's the places uh, that hurt most and it had to take double dose of painkillers and I still had pain after that so it was it was difficult uh, but this week around I was more I took uh, painkillers ahead of time like extra ones and I took nausea medication extra and I had absolutely no discomfort afterwards I also didn't have any uh, sleepiness so what happens is like every time before they uh, start giving you the uh, chemo drug they have to give you uh, nausea medication plus uh, steroids and sometimes some of the medications kind of these kind of extra ones can make you like sleepy but this time I wasn't sleepy uh, last time uh, when I started having the chemo uh, they said well the labs came back because before every time before you get a chemo you have to do labs basically they draw blood and they before you, they start doing anything they check can you even handle the chemo like they check uh, white blood cells and things like that and they said well your red blood cells are so low that today we need to also give you uh, blood and so last time like a week ago I also had blood transfusion so actually I feel really really nice now because I have more blood around I feel um, really great and today I have no veins I even didn't take any painkillers uh, at night because I forgot and I slept through the night I had no pain so sometimes I do that because just to kind of give my body a rest um, but then just in case I do pay yours in the morning, the normal amount, I feel absolutely no pain. So, yeah. Also, I noticed that um, I still have sweats, night sweats, uh, but chills are almost gone. So every time I notice that when the uh, cancer drug uh, that I'm taking is working, then I don't have sweats, I don't have chills, I don't have dizziness, anything like that. And uh, now all these things are going away uh, while they actually had them a couple of weeks ago very severely because the, uh, the, the chemo, last chemo, had stopped working. So I, I'm really hoping that this medication is working now and will continue working for a long time. So we will see. Uh, other stuff, um, right, so I did get my MRI results back but at the moment I don't know what to think about them. So I haven't seen my oncologist yet. Once I see her, she will tell me uh, what those uh, MRI things uh, mean. So basically the reason we did MRI was uh, we did it specifically on my back only and we wanted to see that is it possible to do some radiation to certain parts of my spine and pelvic area uh, to reduce the overall pain levels. Right, so I could go uh, like I get reduced opioids which would be great uh, because any kind of drug that I take has side effects and the less side effects the higher quality of the life right and other thing that's coming up in a week is that I'm going to get a board done uh, put into my uh, right side it's because my my arm only arm that can be used is in my right arm and it's just impossible to uh, get IV in, to get the blood done. So it's just like I have no veins left to be used. Um, somebody commented about my last health uh, update that I had been complaining about nurses not getting uh, blood from me. Uh, but so I'm really sorry if you thought that because I never complain about the nurses and I have utmost respect for the nurses. They do enormous amount of uh, work and they really are like lifesavers and they try very very hard especially the oncology nurses I think like I have been different departments and I think all oncology nurses are the most 
like they, they're the kindest they never have any kind of issues crap they are just very very nice um, so I'm really sorry if I somehow left the impression that I don't respect the nurses it really hurt me that moment because it's just it's, I was kind of shocked but I don't know so what I'm saying is what I was speaking about was that it's very difficult to get blood from me like because I just my wings are very thin naturally um, and they're very scarred now it's just it's impossible like every time I'm like a pink cushion it takes even yesterday uh, it was extreme trouble to get anything uh, like first the nurse hit a nerve so that was extremely painful so he went to another place try tried again nothing worked and then the third place finally worked and he said well I have never ever put IV in this place but that's the first time for him and finally we were able to get the IV in right uh, and because of that so I'm going to get the board soon just uh, just because it's just impossible to um, get blood drawn or because every time they take blood test they have to do it from my veins right um, uh, yeah so I think that's it today is a very very nice warm day something here and I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and enjoy my day mm -hmm. absolutely delicious even my cat comes out she never comes out of the house she's like a house cat Hi Kiki. Hi Kiki. <laughs> Little snack for Bosu. So this is a leftover porridge. <laughs> Little leftover piece of pear that I didn't finish. You happy? Yes, I can see you're happy. You're wagging your tail. <laughs> 